Hello, buddy. This is going to be a how-to video. As the title suggests, this video is going to be how to catch Pokemon in Pixelmon. Yeah, so there will be one, like, one Pixelmon series episode, and then the rest will be how-to videos, and maybe the occasional, maybe if you guys like it enough, maybe even a new series at some point, which will be very cool. So, let's just get started right away, shall we? So, as you can see, I've already caught some Pokemon. My Superior was my starter. A Green and a Delphox I've caught. See, in survival mode, you have to get Pokeballs, right? Obviously, in creative mode, I just have infinite Master Balls, and every Pokeball has a different, like, catch rate. Right, there's two ways to catch Pokemon, or to throw Pokeballs, I guess. So let's just find a quick Pokemon to catch. This little mural right here. Meow. So, by right-clicking, you can throw a Pokeball. And, if you get lucky, you hit, actually hit the Pokemon. And that is without getting into battle. That is a guaranteed catch. Why would I use that on a Meryl? Anyway. Um, and then there's Pukumuku, for instance, right? So right now I'm my superior, and you throw your Pokeball out using R. Right? Normally, you have to fight a Pokemon in order to get it to low health and then throw a Pokeball. But since again, we're creative, we have Master Balls. Pokeballs are the worst, Pokeballs are better, Ultra Balls are better, Pokeballs are better in certain scenarios. But Master Ball have a 100% catch rate. And this episode, we'll also have to find Master Balls. Actually. We cannot craft them or find Apricorns to craft them, which we use to craft other Pokeballs. And as you saw there, you had to get in battle and throw it, or you could be outside of battle and throw it. That's a trainer, but I, we'll talk about that in another episode. So as as you may have seen, it says there's a Master Chest Pokeloot in that way, direction. Right now, I have it set up so that it tells me where Pokeloots are, because I wanted to find one for this episode. So, this is what you call a grotto. It is a nine block wide tree of sorts that you can find in oak, like mixed oak and birch forests. Or just oak forests with maybe some torches in them. That maybe some torches in them depends on how they spawn and a guaranteed master loot, master chest. So and a tailor boss response. Sorry that distracted me. Um, this master chest does not have a guarantee to give you a master ball though. It can give you many things. Like for instance, right there, it gave me leftovers, which is a very good item that makes your Pokemon gain health over time. There's many different Poke Loots, like oh, there's a regular Poke Chest, an Ultra Chest, a Master Chest, and a Beast Chest. So, yeah, you can find all those. The Beast Chest you can only really find in this. So you have a chance of getting a Master Ball, but you can get a ton of other things, like Leftovers, as you already saw. Some XP Candy, Rare Candies, Evolution Stones, you name it. You, know, pro you can probably get Old Gateaus, Calcium, all of the stuff. All the good things you can probably get from that. Right? Cascoon. So, you know, that's just a little mini guide, and I do realize it tells me there's another one. These. Despite what this is showing you, these do tend to be very rare. Then again, these spawn in birch forests and oak forests, and mixed versions of both forests. Maybe I just don't notice it or something. I don't know these are spawn in common. Okay, where's the front? Place I didn't check. Here. So this is taking a second. Where's the first of this thing? Oh, it's literally at the door. Let's see what we get out of this one. And a choice band. See, you can get a ton of good things from this. You know, some are better than others, but, you know, Master Balls have a 100% catch rate. Always. Never changes. So that's basically all you need to know on how to catch Pokemon. If you want to know how to throw out your Pokemon, you just hit R to throw it out, and R to retrieve it. You use the arrow keys to scroll through your Pokemon, like go Delphox, go Greedent, and you can send out- oh, sure is. he has a title, I didn't notice that. And you can send them out and send them back in using the same button, just you go to the Pokemon, and you pretend you're throwing them if they're out already. Well, that is going to be- it for this how-to video it wasn't very long but I got right to the point that's kind of the point of how-to videos so if you enjoyed it
make sure you like it again and bye